Hello, welcome back. Um, this scene is a scene that I painted from um, a place called Harefield in Derbyshire. We spent the weekend, well, not the weekend, just the day. We had a drive over to Derbyshire and to this nice little village. And I took my camera with us and found a few places just in the village so I was quite impressed with this place wanted to do something to share just a, a video of, of a painting of this place and it was a really rainy day we did get quite wet but it was a it was a, it was nice just to get out obviously with the current sort of uh, lockdown at the moment um, so it was just nice to get out and have a change of scenery. So we just had a walk around the village, just um, had a look around. It's one of the places that I, I've never been before, Harefield. But I do like, I really do like Derbyshire. Um, with it just being sort of half an hour drive away. Um, it was just nice to get away. So you can see... Well, this 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 painting, I'm going for a um, more of an illustration sort of look. So I'm thinking maybe to go in with some ink, um, drawing pens after I've done maybe a couple of washes, and then sort of tighten things up a little with uh, some loose pen work. But we'll see how we get on. So I'm just adding to the buildings. You can see I'm. I'm just adding the first wash and I'm just adding in a bit of colour here and there you can see that blue that I just put on that house and just touching in a bit of red um, by the way the mix that I'm using is mostly yellow ochre but I'm just warming it up here and there with a touch of red and the cooler sort of tones that I want to get is just a touch of blue so it, it was a really, because of the weather, because of the rain, um, the buildings in the background, such as the buildings I'm painting here, just the row of houses, it was quite, quite hard to see. They were quite faded. So I want to capture that. And I wanted to capture the, the rainy day. Um, so if you, if you do think that I'm, if you, if you can tell that it's a rainy day, then please uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Is a some way I could have improved this scene. Um, there was no cars on the road at this point for this picture, but I think it would have been nice to get um, probably a car or something like that with the headlamp or back brake light sort of reflected in the in the road. So there's quite a lot of light on the road and from the sky, but it's a uh, a sort of uh, grey sort of light just a just a light tone so that's reflected and I'm trying to capture that on the roofs you can see on the chimneys I want to capture a nice shadow that comes down from the chimneys so this this background building I really don't want to pay much attention I don't I don't want um, too much attention to that building I want it to sort of fade off in the background as it is and concentrate more on the two sort of buildings either side of the scene so it's the left and the right giving a nice frame to the scene uh, it's nicely well balanced I feel and there's a lovely background hill just over the top of the village it's quite quite a lot of hills and quite a lot of greenery so I just wanted to capture that. Just add in my light greens to the uh, bits of trees and bushes to these houses. And then I'm just adding a touch of blue just to darken the right hand side. Just to give those nice sort of deeper shadows to the uh, brush bushes. And I'm just adding another light wash over the first wash, just a bit more 
deeper color. And I'm doing the same on the left hand side just to balance the scene out. And by the way, if you're if you're not subscribed to my channel, then please do so. Uh, I've noticed there's still quite a lot, maybe perhaps 80 and 90 percent of people who watch my videos have not yet subscribed. So if that's you, then please just hit the subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified next time I uh, bring or upload another video. So I'm just on this um, part, I'm just adding some, and it's actually, it's not a black pen, not black ink. I'm using uh, a sepia tone pen. I uh, just thought that'd add a little bit of interest. And I probably will add some black um, as, I, as I go on. But I just wanted to get some of the brown sort of lines to the scene just to uh, just to sharpen up in places. You can see it's quite a loose, um, easy sort of uh, scene. I wanted to keep it that way. It's more of an illustration type painting. And I wanted to make a... Um, I just wanted to do something different so that's why I wanted to do um, almost like a line and wash um, I do go in with a pen and then add some water color and then maybe go back to the pen there's really no right or wrong way of doing it and you can see I'm just speeding up the video process just slightly um, here and there so I don't want to bore you as I'm doing the pen work you can see exactly what I'm doing, just going over some of the lines, just picking out a few details, a few bits of line work here and there, adding a bit of texture and a bit of clarity. But overall, I wanted to keep it quite loose and quite uh, soft. Quite um, Because of the rain, I think it, it has to be a soft sort of, you can see the, the paint I'm using and the the way the water sort of comes down it's quite quite a wet quite a wet pen quite a wet um, lots of plenty of water something like that come down and uh, give me the impression of, uh, of, of a rainy day um, I don't know whether it does work but if you do let me know I'd appreciate any comments anything like that let me know what you think does this scene look like it's a rainy day So just, just speeding the process up again, there's a nice yeah, yellow door you can see on the right hand side on the building. Um, it's quite a nice nice colour, it sort of stands out. And just by, just just so that you know, the, the building on the right hand side, the roof is sort of uh, like that. The, the roof sort of turns around the corner. Okay, I'm just gently going around um, the window panes. It's probably the um, most careful I've been on this painting so far. But I think it, it does pay off sometimes to do a few little details here and there. Be careful, take your time. Um, just, just make sure you get a nice clean edge. And especially because this is in the sort of foreground of the the painting of the scene so i wanted to pay a bit more attention to that and along with this window as well so just a few dark tones um, it's in shadow and obviously that's the inside of the building itself so i just wanted to capture that and go quite dark with these windows but you can see uh, i'm using the same brush there's only two two brushes that I've used in this whole painting, and that's the Da Vinci um, sort of squirrel mop which I'm using right now, and then the Isobay um, squirrel mop. So they're the only two brushes that I've used, and that's that's pretty much the only two that you you need, and they're fairly small. You can see the tips. The brush ends they're really quite quite small but 
you know a decent sort of size I'd say sort of a medium sort of size and again the paper is a 7 by 10 inches so it's not extremely um, it's not really that big so it's quite a nice size quite easy to sort of fill and it's ash watercolour block that I'm using so just going on along the roof line just to give that a bit of a shadow a bit more of a uh, definition to the um, gutter and it is an interesting roof it sort of bends around it, it looks almost strange but that's that's the way the roof goes um, I don't know whether the different buildings on this side and then around the other side I think there were terrace terrace houses that sort of just sort of turn around but the build the the roof sort of follows around with them And I like the way I've captured the um, shadows of the chimneys. I think they've turned out quite well. And that obviously, um, hopefully, does translate as a reflection because the roofs are wet. But again, just, just let me know if you think I've captured that. If you think I've done um, an okay-ish job in capturing the, the weather of the day as well. And just let me know so I'm just it's quite strong so I'm just lifting out with some clean water and just softening some edges so that it just diffuses slightly I don't want a such a hard line on the roof You can see the the buildings, the houses in the middle of the scene, just how sort of washed out they look, and that's what I was looking for. So they turned out quite well, and the hill um, above those buildings, they turned out really um, the way I wanted. So that's not really a focal point. I wanted uh, more details on the building on the left and the right. And this road, actually, uh, if you follow the road up, I'm looking down. This scene is is uphill, so I'm looking down on this scene. But as you follow the road down, just behind the building on the left, the buildings on the left, there's a big sort of church that sort of stands out. And maybe that's something that I'll do in um, the next video. Or so I was quite happy with, I was quite happy with the way that looked so I think that I'll capture that in something of a more serious painting sort of more detail or anything like that so um, I did get some pictures and it was it was a really nice place so I do recommend if anyone's near Derbyshire then the place is called Hayfield H-A-Y-F-I-E-L-D and that's in Derbyshire well I think I'm coming towards the end I'm just going in with pen just adding some texture to the the greenery some of the um, some of the trees in the gardens in the houses so I'm just scribbling some details you can see not really too fussed of detail or um, anything like that it's this one's slightly different to what I normally paint but I just wanted to show you some um, ink work as well in, in the watercolour and how the effects you can get with that and it's more like an illustration sort of painting but I hope you like it I hope, um, I hope you learned something I hope you like this video if you do give us a thumbs up um, let us know what you think in the comments and if you're not subscribed then please do so and I will be doing some more videos like this in the next few days.